Hey, what's up everybody? It's Luke and you're watching Luke the Gathering. Thanks for being here. <clears throat> it's uh, kind of past halfway point of Wilds of Eldraine uh, draft season. It's time of the sun and I feel confident enough to just sort of give my opinion on what I would draft out of packs. I've done pretty well in some of the tournaments. Uh, not like a professional player or anything like that, but I'm going to weigh in my two cents of what I think are the best cards to take out of a pack of Wilds of Eldraine. We can do this three times. We have three packs. It's a little series I like to do on the channel. And so here we go. Let's see what we have. We have a Beanstalk Worm, first of all. Rowan's Grim Search. Johan's Stopgap. A Slumbering Keep Guard. Ferocious Werefox, Gnawing Crescendo, Sky Beast Tracker, Grabby Giant, Monstrous Rage, High Fey Negotiator, ooh, almost dropped that, Callus Cell Sword, the rare is Sir Ginger, the Meal Ender, we also have a rare from the Enchanted Tail slot, uh, Nature's Will. We also got a rare foil, Red Cap Gutter Dweller. Wow, okay. And then we got the tokens, which I guess don't matter as much. I think we have some really strong cards in this um, particular pack. I'm going to pull out some of the stronger ones first. We got Johan's Stopgap is a pretty strong card. Great for blue players. Um, anytime you can bounce someone's card back to their hand and you draw a card from it plus you can pay less for it if you bargain it just seems like lots of great things from this card uh for <sighs> ferocious wear fox is really cool you can make a monster token i love this for when you have big creatures in the deck you know you give something a monster token and suddenly it has trample that's great and this thing has trample as well all the adventure cards are like two for ones that are great non crescendo is really cool for the rat decks or anything going really wide, um, just a game-ending card. Grabbing Giant is really cool because it creates that treasure token for just two mana, and then um, you can actually has it has it's a four three, it's a pretty beefy body um, that has a cool ability that can you can sacrifice an artifact or a land to draw a card, and that has actually come in really clutch at times. I do like Monstrous Rage a lot; it's a great little trick for just one mana. Because um, you do get a monster token, roll token, and then you get plus two, plus oh. Um, really cool. High Fate Negotiator is so great. You can bargain it, and it gives you three life and makes your opponent lose three life. It's a flyer, has a ridiculous five toughness, which is pretty awesome. The Callous Cell Sword I've come up on recently. Uh, Burn Together is kind of a funny adventure where the you have a card deal damage to something else. Um, equal to its power and then you sacrifice that so it's kind of like you know you can you usually can make it so you can sacrifice one for one and then for every creature that died this thing comes in with a plus one plus one counter on it so you know you would try to use the burn together ability then cast this as a three three for two which is a nice little bargain sir ginger i'm actually not a fan of it's a three one for two it's okay um, it has all these great things like Trample, Hexproof, Haste, but as long as the opponent controls a Planeswalker, and there's only one Planeswalker in this entire set, I don't think know if I've ever even played against that Planeswalker, Ashiok. I don't remember. I might have played against it once, so in lots and lots of drafts. Um, otherwise, just the three, one for two. Um, you know, if artifacts are put into the graveyard, it does get plus one, plus one, so... And you get a scry, so that's good. If you have, like, I would say, like, a Golgari um, food deck would be good for this card. But otherwise, eh, I don't know how great it is. You can sacrifice it later to gain life equal to its power, which is fine. I mean, it's a good card. I just haven't been hugely impressed. Nature's Will. It says, whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to the player, tap all lands that player controls. I mean, this is not going to do hardly anything in the draft, so I wouldn't even... Consider, but we do have the red cap gutter dweller, which is great. It's a menace creature, 3 3. 
But when it comes in, you get to make two 1-1 one, one rat tokens. That's cool. And then during the upkeep, you can sacrifice the creature. And if you do, it gets a plus one, plus one counter. And you can exile the top card of the library and you can play that card that turn. So lots of really cool um, cards here to choose from. Oh, man, picking the first card from here I think is interestingly difficult. I like the red cap gutter dweller. It's not a card I actually see that often. I don't know why. Just maybe it's avoided me. But I think red black is a great archetype to go into. And making those rats, you know, you get three things on the board for this one card. And then, you know, this thing can scale up. It has menace. Really hard to deal with. So I, I think I would take the red cap gutter dweller happily as my first pick. Um, I was almost going to go with this one. High Fate Negotiator is also just a really great card. 3-5 can possibly gain you 3 life and lose your opponent 3 life at the same time. So I, that, this would be my second pick. And then pick 3, I guess. I think Sir Ginger. And then maybe try to get into Golgari. Um, pretty decent card there. But still a pick 3 for the rare. Although the, the other card was rare as well. I got a rare foil. So that was pretty cool. Um, after that, it's a little bit harder to, to choose. I think I still like I like green black a lot, or green red sometimes. And so, Fer ferocious werefox is a card that I've been liking more and more. I just really like that you can make that monster token um, with the adventure and then cast this later. So I think I'll go with that card. And then, you know, I'd rather not take tricks quite yet. So I think what we'll do is grabby giant four three body. Um, Makes the treasure that's cool. Callus Sellsword, I guess, would be the next one I would take. And these are all really, like, for different modalities, I guess. But Monstrous Rage, I think, is the best of these three. Um, since I, I am more bent on aggression, I think Gnawing Crescendo would be my next one. And my pick one was that rat card, and so this is great in a rat deck. If you're in a blue deck, this is obviously maybe the one you'd pick, Johan's Stopgap. <clears throat> and then we just end up with these ones in the end. I think Beanstalk Worm is okay. I think a lot of people are a little bit down on Beanstalk Worm. They don't think it's actually that great of a card. Uh, you have to have it in your hand. You have to have a couple of lands in your hand. If that case happens, it's pretty cool. You get to really ramp pretty quick. Um, and it's a 5-4 with Reach. So I think it's pretty good. I like it. Next... Uh, Rowan's Grim Search. I've never really liked that card. I've seen it played, but I guess I'd take Sky Beast Tracker. Again, it's a 2-4 Reacher. If you're in this sort of big creatures deck, getting this out quick is good because it's a 2-4. Makes you food, pot potentially, and can stabilize you. Then I guess Rowan's Grim Search. Then the Slumbering Keeper Guard. And then Nature's Wall, I guess, would be last. If you're trying to just draft for rarities and stuff, this might be something you take a little bit earlier. So to recap, we're starting with the red cap. Red cap, gutter dweller, can hardly see it. Um, the foiling doesn't do it any justice. High Fae Negotiator, I was saying was second. Sir Ginger, then the Ferocious Werefox, Grabby Giant, Callous Sellsword, Monstrous Rage, Nine Crescendo, Johan Stopgap, Beanstalk Worm, Sky Beast Tracker, Rowan's Grim Search, Slumbering Keeper Guard, and then Nature's Will. There you have it. Let me know if you agree or disagree, or if you would have changed any of those picks. I'd be happy to uh, learn from you guys as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.